Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the cloud stream application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole setup is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we go to search and start typing Unloader in the search bar. And as you can see, Unloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on Unloader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So in order to actually set up the loader, we gotta go to settings by clicking on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. And here you will have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom, for me, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADP debugging, then go to install known apps. From here, you have to locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. Let's open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's, of course, connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. We got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Germany right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with the camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So open up the loader application. On the left side menu, make sure to click on Home, not a browser. So click on Home, and then here in the search bar, we'll need to enter a code which is going to be 28907. So once again, the code is 28907. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes because obviously if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on go and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you will get even more content about fire sticks as well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly really helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now when the web page has loaded, we just need to scroll it down a little bit until you find that list of categories. And from here, you need to click on Movies and TV. So let's click on it. We'll click on Movies and TV. And now a huge list of apps should open up for us. And there we'll be looking for CloudStream. And there it is. We found it but the page reloaded, yeah, so there is the cloud stream, the page keeps reloading, so that messes stuff up for us a bit, but there it is, there is the app we are looking for, so let's click on it, 
then and add my pop-up for you. If it does pop up, you just click on close or on X to close down the ad. In my case, I have to click on the X right there in the top right corner. And now a new web page should load for us. Yeah, there it is. So we need to scroll it down as well until we find that little download button right here. So we need to click on download. And now in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then you have to click on install and wait until CloudStream gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device you are using. And after that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because you don't have too much of free space on your Fire Stick anyway. Now, finally, we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, open it, and there at the bottom you'll find CloudStream, which we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. You click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, CloudStream is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.